Yeah, question number four says we should verify that these two these two functions y p one and y subscript p two they actually solutions of of this differential equation respectively. So that is to say this we should verify that this is a solution of this and this is also a solution of of that. Now to make the first verification so I'm going to start here by saying so this is our a so I want to check that y I'm going to call it y1 instead of yp1 now 3 e to the power 2x I want to show that this is a solution of y prime prime minus 6y prime plus 5y equals 5x squared Oh, sorry. It, should, it shouldn't be that. Shouldn't be. So we want to show that y this 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 three e to the power two x is the solution of y prime prime minus six y prime plus five y equals minus nine e to the power two x. That's what we want to show. So in a bit to show that, I need to find my y, my y prime, and my y prime prime. So I already know y. So I want to find y prime prime and y prime prime. So when I substitute all my values, I must get negative 9 e to the power 2x, or else it's wrong. So to find y prime, that's y1 prime, derivative of this is going to be 6 e to the power 2x, and then y1 prime prime, that will be 12 e to the power 2x. And then when we make the substitution here, we have y prime prime, so that becomes 12 e to the power 2x minus 6 into our y prime is 6 e to the power 2x plus 5 times times y, the y is 3 e to the power 2x. So let's see what that gives us. So this is going to be 12 e to the power 2x minus 36 e to the power 2x. And 5 times 3, that's 15e to the power 2x. And then 12 plus 5 is 27. 27 minus 36, that is minus 9e to the power 2x. So we've been able to show that the left-hand side equals, equals the right-hand side. So for the next part, which I'm going to call it as, I want to check or show that yp2 is a solution of the second part. So I'm going to call that y2. I could use so let me call that y2 so fancy sake we have y2 equals x squared plus 3x so I want to show that this is a particular solution of y prime prime as double prime minus 6y prime plus 5y equals 5x squared plus 3x minus 16. So similarly, to do this, I need to find y prime, I need to find y prime prime. So since my y2 is this, then the derivative of y2 would be 2x plus 3, and the derivative of this as y2 prime prime is, is 2. So we'll make the substitution here, so we have y prime prime is 2, minus 6 times y prime, that's 2x, 2x plus 3, then plus 5 times our y is x squared plus 3x. So you should note, we are working with the left-hand side. So this is our left-hand side. So then when we do that, we have 2 minus, so this gives us 2 minus, minus 12x minus 6 times 3, that's negative 18 plus 5 x squared plus 15x and then what we have here is going to be so when you create like terms you have 5x squared coming first the next one is 15x minus 12x that's plus 3x and then 2 minus 18 that is negative 16 so which is equal to the right hand side so we've been able to show that the left hand side equals um, the right hand side so therefore the left hand side equals the right hand side and then that shows that y2 is the solution of the differential equation that we're given above 
So that solves part A. So for part B it says it says use part A, that is um, the information we got from part A to find particular solutions of these non-homogeneous differential equations that we now have here. So now how then do we do this? We are going to use what we call the superposition principle. So I'm going to write that shortly. So now we are given that y1 equals 3e to the power 2x is a solution of this. So I'm going to call, let me, let me, maybe I should just write that down here somewhere here. So y equals 3e to the power 2x. We're told that it's a solution of, um, let me call that y prime prime minus 6y prime plus 5y equals minus 9 e to the power 2x equals minus 9 e to the power e to the power 2x and then we are also told that as we are given that y2 y equals x squared plus 3x is also a solution of um, that's the new one now that's going to be y prime prime minus 6y prime plus 5y now that equals we're told it's a solution of um, of this one here so we have 5x squared of that function we have 5x squared plus 3x minus minus 16 so now According to this proposition principle, what we know is that by the time you sum, if this is a solution of this non-homogeneous differential equation, and also this is a solution of this non-homogeneous differential equation, it implies that the sum of the two of them, that is y equals 3e to the power 2x plus, plus x squared plus 3x is going to be a solution of y prime prime minus 6y prime plus 5y equals minus 9 minus 9 e to the power 2x plus 5x squared plus 3x minus minus 16. That's what the superposition principle says. And then what the question asks us is to check if this plus this or what the particular solution is and we've been able to find that from there from here so that implies that this is the particular solution of a differential equation we are told to find so for the other part is when you have minus 10x squared minus 6x plus 32 plus e to the power 2x so the next one is we want to find a particular solution, which I'm going to call 2. We want to find a particular solution of y prime prime minus 6y prime plus 5y equals 10x squared plus 6x minus 32 plus e to the power 2x. So we want to find a particular solution of this. So now what we note is that this, what we have here, could be written in this format here. Could be written as 2 times 5x squared plus 3x minus 16. So while what we have here also could also be written in this format. So you have minus 1 all over 9 into minus 9 e to the power 2 um, e to the power 2x. Now but then we know that when y equals y equals 3 to the power 2x is the solution of this when the right hand side is minus 9 e to the power 2x and then for the other case is when the, um, the right hand side is 5x squared plus 3x minus 16. So this implies that to find a particular solution of this or in other words the particular solution is going to be 2 times 
when the right hand side is 5x squared plus that, we have x squared plus 3x, that will be x squared plus 3x minus 1 over 9 times, when the right hand side is minus 9e to the power 2x, what we have is 3e to the power 2x. 3e to the power 2x. So this is going to be the particular solution of that. And when we simplify that further, what we would have is 2x squared plus 6x. So 3 divided by 9, that is e to the power 2x divided by 3. So this is going to be the new particular solution. And then for this case, this is the uh, particular solution for that case. And then that completes, um, that completes the problem according to where it was find.